So I reckon that is the perfect example of what I was sort of waiting to explain to you. I reckon if we, if we simplified batting, this might not make that much sense straight away, but I reckon when you simplify batting, there's three foot positions you want to get to. It's that one you're doing now where it's a straightish ball. When it's wider and you want to go a little bit bigger and further across, when it's short, you go back and across. I reckon most people get in, get in the wrong position because they're shaping up or they're looking for the football that's outside off. And that's fair because that's where most of the balls are. But when you get across to here, you can't go back to there. So I think you're better off setting up and imagining the ball's going to be there, looking for that one. Because from this position where you're sort of still, you can go anywhere. You can go there or you can go there. But once you're over here, you can't go to those other two. It comes at my like, frustration sometimes when batting. I look for that ball because I know that I hit it on the yeah. I know that I can get a huge strike and I can get ahead and I can just go. Yeah. Hit it because normally when it's hit, I'm not great. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not. So you're almost desperate, especially when you've got the fling, I'm desperate to use the ball. So yeah, of course. Yeah, so I think, you, yeah, that's good. You should still be almost looking to score when the ball's there. Yeah. Yeah. But almost like telling yourself that, it, telling yourself that it's going to be full and straight. Yeah. To I stop that. Yeah. And then when you see it full and wide, you go bang. But when you see it full and straight, you actually just yeah. transfer into it. Yeah. So if you shape up for that ball every ball, you're going to get in better positions, I reckon. That put you off, I know. And, and I meant to say that the previous one was a good example where you were going straight, going straight, going straight, looking for it, and then it was wide, and you got across nicely to it. Thoughts? Bit. Bit early and then you got a bit front on push. So just move a bit later, like you have been. That's a lovely shot, Joseph. Yeah, boy. That's all you have to do, it's good. Shot, mate, that's pure. <laughs> so, hey, that's awesome. I was about to say to you, the ball before. <clears throat> so your footwork, I was about to say to you. Ball before, come, in come sort of just in front of me, trying to block the camera, yep, there. So, ball before, you went there, but short, and then hit like that. That ball, you went there. What do you think, yeah, why, why do you think that is? Exactly. So, if you're stepping, if you're stepping this way, you're going to open. So, you got a cross, and you actually closed yourself off, which means you can keep your hips but you got your head and hands forward because it was a short step. So opening yourself up is alright if, if it's literally going to hit leg stump almost? Yeah. It depends because if it's going to hit leg stump and then it swings away and you're open up. Yeah, yeah. So what I'm saying is this, the ball before where you got to there was a really good position. Yeah. Short, head forward, hands came through dead straight. That one you went there, same size but too open and then you went... So you almost do want to like get across a little bit and you watch all the best players, they do get to there and hit from, but they're hitting in front of their pad, they're not playing like from way behind. Does that make sense? Good, good. Yes, that's a lovely shot, boy. Yeah, how's that feel? Feel all right? Good. Yeah, careful with these guys there. Good miss, that's a good miss, that's fine. Yes, Joey boy.
Yeah, boy. Pure. Nice, mate. So nice. So nice to watch. So good, bud. So, so good. Yes, that's a beautiful position. So good, mate. Good miss, good miss. 